Welcome back to the Richie Rich Chemist, a channel that talks all about careers in basic science. Share the video so that it reaches many more people and helps them in their career journey. Who says that a researcher has to be a serious, boring nerd? Let me introduce you to Dr. Anjali Bai, a computational chemist, model and a mother all in one. Thank you, Anjali. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, we are keen to know your story. So initially, I wanted to be a microbiologist. During my BSc, I can say that I fell in love with chemistry. I was also preparing for civil service, reading competition success review and all. I just started thinking, what will I be after 10 years? Then at that point, I just felt like I didn't want to leave chemistry. After your master's, you went into the industry. What made you leave the industry and how did you get into a PhD? I got into Sinjin International Limited because of the campus recruitment uh, as a research associate. But later on, I understood that to progress in this field, uh, I may need PhD. And I also had uh, intention to go to live and learn outside India. And I also used email, but I didn't get any email uh, back. So so I, I resigned my job and six months I went for a coaching. Now I cleared CSIR, uh, CSIR NET with an All India rank of 63. So I had several interviews from IIT Mumbai, ISER Pune, NCL Pune, and also IACT Hyderabad and CSIR uh, NIIST Trivadrum. Then I cleared the CSIR NIST interview and I got into my PhD. How difficult is the uh, CSIR NET exam? It was indeed difficult. My master's was in analytical chemistry. So we get only two two questions from analytical chemistry. So all the other questions comes from physical, organic chemistry, organometallics, and so many other subjects. So we need to have in-depth knowledge. It's not a direct question. You need to know the mechanism. You damn mugging up. We need to know the core of the subject. So we need to have thorough preparation. I tried it during my master's. Twice I failed. So if without the coaching, you need to be prepared from the first year of master's itself. Collect the previous question papers and try to solve the questions. Dedicate some time every day. Day. And also you have so many choices. If you're thorough in at least two subjects like organic chemistry and physical chemistry, you can clear the exam. It's not necessary that you have to go for coaching. Consistency is the key. Yes, exactly. Uh, yes. I've yes. had the previous interviewers on my channel who spoke about uh, doing PhD abroad. Did you feel uh, you were lesser privileged as compared to people who did PhD abroad? Definitely not. Our lab had all the facilities. Compared to my Korean lab or Singapore lab, I would say my Indian lab was much better in terms of the resources. Uh, moving to a lab with a CSIR, you had the confidence that you have the five years fellowship. Only the, the standard duration in India is five years. Whereas in uh, uh, Korea, I had seen people completing in three years, four years. So what does uh, computational chemistry involve? What is a usual day uh, in your life like? Computational chemistry, just like any researcher, the difference is we are using computers and doing the research. We are simulating the molecules and uh, we are studying exactly, we are solving the research problems with the use of computers. Unlike the other chemists, we don't need to wear the lab coat. So you avoid the stink or the fragrance of a regular chemistry lab. Yes, but I really miss that. Give us a glimpse of what your PhD research was like. My uh, research was uh, on density functional theory calculations applications. I predicted the reactivity factors like reduction potential activation energy barrier, etc. for an industrially interesting complexes. One of my projects is also the absorption and emission properties have been predicted using computational tools. Uh, we can calculate the fluorescence with much accuracy with the computational uh, software. Application is mainly the uh, reactivity prediction. Uh, how easily a reaction proceeds. If you take a cobaloxin catalyst and you change the uh, functional groups from electron withdrawing to electron donating nature, how the complex would react. Uh, for an experimental ke chemist, they need to do the trial and errors. If a computational chemist can predict the reaction, they can just see. So you are like the AI of the lab. I mean, not yet. <laughs> Doing a PhD in India, did you have work-life balance? Was it stressful? Though I was married, it's like a married single. So it's like I didn't have a child back then. So it was like my place is lab. So I spend hours and hours in lab. After three years of PhD, at some point I realized that I was more into work and I wanted to see people outside. Uh, nice. And I went to uh, TEDx talks. I was scrolling through Facebook and I got uh, advertisements calling 
calling for uh, modeling. Luckily, I got selected. Then I walked on ramp. Uh, in on, on the same stage, there were Radhika Apte, so many celebrities. After that year, again I entered Mrs. Kerala finale. Whenever I meet people outside, I learn from them. It's not that once you're doing a PhD, you disconnect from everything. After your PhD, you did a postdoc in uh, South Korea. How did you get into a, a postdoc position? I emailed the professor and I got a position. And the funding was from a uh, oil refining uh, company, GS Caltex. There have been several uh, fellowships like Humboldt Fellowship, Marie Curie Fellowship and uh, JSBS Fellowship. Uh, also, the professors may have their own funds. So you can apply if you are in the same field. My priority was Korea since my husband was working there. You need to uh, search their profile and their Google Scholar. Twitter is a very nice platform where we can get a lot of information uh, regarding the positions. Very often we think only of LinkedIn. LinkedIn more of industry people and more of academicians are using Twitter. How did you manage to get the postdoc position in Singapore? So I was reading the article on CO2 cyclo addition to value added products. National University of Singapore, it's a very big university. So my area of interest was uh, carbon dioxide conversion to value added products. I just sent an email to the professor asking if he's interested to hire a, a researcher working on that area. He emailed me back and I had an interview and I got it cleared. That is something I have seen over the previous interviews as well that yes. you just need to write. Yeah, exactly. That's very, very important. You need to email the person. You need to know their work. Maybe if you're emailing hundreds of people, you may get a reply two or three. Keep trying is the main thing in the field That's of research. That's the quality of a researcher, right? You have to keep yeah. trying till you get it. Exactly. <laughs> the PhD will evolve you as a person because every day you'll be failing and you should be ready to fail. If you had to go back in time, uh, would you go through the same career trajectory? Nothing different. I don't want to change a single thing because that's what made me here. That's how I learned. I'm grateful for all the experience. What skills should one develop to be successful as a computational chemist? You need to be updated always. Technologies get gets improved. So you need to be updated with the technical skills along with your subject skills. And, and also programming is very important. You were yeah. a Chetsa student. So tell me, what did you like most about sir? Definitely, you know the answer. It's his ever smiling face. Whether he is in experimental lab or classroom, he is always smiling and happy and also always available to students. Although he is a senior person, we could go and talk to him, ask doubts. Thank you so much, Anjali. And I hope our viewers also have a lot to take. I'm sure this video has helped you gain new insights into careers in basic science. So go ahead, smash that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss another video. I will see you next Saturday. Until then, stay hungry, stay informed.